Lincoln, will there be any problem at all focusing on Minnesota instead of Michigan State this week? No, no problem at all. Uh, Michigan State's behind us. We had a, a good game, celebrated it, and now it's time to move on to Minnesota. Is it difficult, though, that everybody's telling you how good you are now that after the Virginia Tech game that wasn't necessarily the case and now it's the other way? Um, I, might, I don't know. Some of the other guys on the team might find that distracting. Uh, I've really tried to not listen to anything that goes on outside of here because uh, there's always going to be distractions, and that's kind of the point is to make people listen to you. So if you're if you're too busy listening to what the media has to say and what people are saying about you on Twitter and stuff like that, then it's really going to get in your head. And one more thing. Ohio State was an afterthought a couple of weeks ago in the college football playoffs rankings when they first came out. Now that you guys are right there in the – thick of it do you take a little bit more interest in it? is this something that you followed all along or um once again i think i've just kind of gotten to the point where i just don't really care anymore and uh all because all we can do is just play football and <laughs> play as hard as we can so um i remember worrying about that kind of stuff last year and and it would affect the way i played and stuff so this is just, this year it's just focus on playing hard and focus on um, being a good teammate and trying to lead these guys and trying to make sure that other guys have that same mentality of just focus on what you can do and the playoff system will be the playoff system and it'll work out how it does. Mike, I realize you're a team guy and the wins are the stat that you only really pay attention to, but as a defensive player, as somebody who is you know, up for awards, is there any different feeling when you do contribute statistically like you did Saturday night as opposed to some others where maybe you have to take on some dirty work instead? Oh uh, yeah, it obviously is going to feel a lot better when you contribute statistically, uh, like especially in a game that big. Um, I'm just a little bit happier with my performance and that things turn my way a little bit more. Uh, but at the same time, the defense didn't do that well. So um, we need we have stuff to fix, but we won the game. So it's just a lot of roller coaster happy and then kind of disappointed but happy again so you just kind of have to figure out what's worth hanging on to and what's not were you needing to, or did something change schematically to put you in position or did you just uh, you know as opposed to earlier in the year did you play just play better uh, i feel like that's just kind of how the dice fell i think i played a little bit more aggressively um and the rest of the defense uh was there to um to make up for it and if i made a mistake then i had guys who were able to be in the right place at the right time. And if they made a mistake, I was in the right place at the right time. So uh, I think I just played more aggressively. And then, like usual, we played team defense. And um, I kind of I got I got in the right positions and was able to make the play. Coach Asha was just saying, you know, it was a pretty good game defensively until the last, you know, quarter. Um, mm -hmm. And kind of got away from you guys. Um, what, what is your takeaway from that? What happened, I guess, late? Were you comfortable with the lead, uh, or was it Michigan State making plays? What, did, what was your view on not finishing, is the way he put it to, to us? Um, I don't know. I think guys got tired. Like that one last touchdown, I think there were like six, six missed tackles on one play or something. And you saw it, and guys were just exhausted, just kind of like laying their arms on um, the running back. So we just need to have more of a rotation throughout the game. Guys don't need to be playing 80 plays. Um, and when you get into really big games like, like against Michigan State, uh, sometimes coaches lose faith in the guys that they are usually ready to put in. Um, so we need to make sure that those guys practice well every day so that they, uh, the coaches have faith in them to put them in the game so that um, going into the fourth quarter, the starters aren't blown out. Uh, but I, I mean, Coach Ash is obviously a lot more knowledgeable at this than me, but they also scored on the very first drive. And so I think it was kind of the whole game we had little mental breakdowns, but um, we didn't have, I don't think we had a complete falling apart in the fourth quarter, just more mental breakdowns and we're tired now. Michael, when I say game, you're going to play a game maybe in the 20s, 20, I'm talking about 20 degrees, not 20 points. Uh, um, oh yeah, excuse me. Go play a game in the 20 degree, whatever. Does that get you excited as a defensive lineman or what, what's sort of your take on the possible weather on Saturday? Uh, doesn't really change anything, I don't think. Um, if it's cold or if it's hot, I guess that the only difference is whether you put on thermal leggings or not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. As a, in a really cold game, the only thing that really changes is if your hands hurt or not. So you gotta, I don't know, try not to focus on your hands hurting. But once again, it's just you have to go out there and you gotta play. Uh, there's always gonna be some different reason why you're not gonna play your best game, but you have to be able to push through that. Um, so 
I don't know. I didn't even know. I don't. I'd assume that November in Minnesota is going to be pretty cold. So. Yeah.